Hi there, this is Ranjit from TechToBuzz.com and I have the Samsung Galaxy S4. Um, just a couple of days ago, about two days ago, I did get a software update again for this S4. As you can see here, uh, we have the software update. Uh, I got it via OTA, that's over the air. And uh, let's have a look at the same. Before that, let's look at the current version. And as you can see, it's the Android 4.3 version. And the build number is UEM J9. So let's uh, apply this update. It's not a very small update or a very big update, but I would say a mid-size upgrade. And as you can see, the size for the upgrade was 114 megabytes. And I got this update via OTA. That's over the air update. And uh, uh, it just says that it improves stability. So the installation procedure will be very similar if you have been following my videos and we'll just install it. Again, just make sure that you have enough charge on your device, at least I would say around 50% or so. And as you can see, it's rebooting now and it'll apply the update. And this might take a couple of uh, minutes. And uh, as you can see, my S4 is the uh, Indian version. That's the Octaco version. That is the GTI 9500. Uh, I'm sure some of you might have already applied this update. So if you have applied this update, do let me know in the comment section what changes you have uh, seen with the Galaxy S4. Did it make the UI a little bit more smoother compared to the earlier updates? Uh, from what I have uh, read, uh, this update brings the OpenGL3 support and also it has improved RAM management and apart from a little bit of improvement in the TouchWiz launcher. So hopefully it should be a little bit smoother. And I've also heard that the camera firmware has been tweaked with this update. So it'll be interesting to see how it affects it. And as you can see, it's installing the update. Again, this will take some time. I'll just skip to this. And after this uh, initial, uh, when it goes to around 100%, it'll reboot your device. So be, you just need to be a little bit patient now. And roughly after around four minutes, uh, it has completed it. At, it is at 100% now and now it will uh, reboot our device as you can see again uh, quite a few of you uh, do ask me if you don't get the ot updates you just need to be a little bit patient because samsung does not roll out all the ota updates at the same time uh, if you can't wait for the ota update you can also manually update it by the kai's software the links for the kai's software will be in the show notes but again with kai's uh, it'll be a very big download because it downloads the entire rom uh, but in case of OTA, it just downloads the part that is required. So as you can see, it's uh, booting and you'll notice that the boot time will be significantly longer. Don't panic. It's normal after a firmware update for the boot uh, initial boot to be a bit longer. And now the process of optimizing the Android apps is going on. And this can also take a couple of minutes. So I'll just skip this portion and come back when it's done. And it has uh, upgraded all our apps and now it should just uh, boot normally within a few seconds. And as you can see, it says finish boot. And it should boot anytime. And as you can see, it has booted now uh, normally. Uh, let's uh, just swipe around. And it says the device was successfully updated. So let's look at the Android version. Uh, I don't think so the Android version would have changed, but uh, let's uh, look at the build number that would have definitely changed. Let's look at about, I see a little bit of lags, but again, I think so we need to reboot it once more. And as you can see, uh, the build number has definitely changed. Now it's the UEM K9. Uh, so that has changed significantly. And let's just uh, browse around. I see a little bit of stuttering. Did you notice that? Still a little bit of lagginess is there. Let me kill all the apps again. Nothing is running actually and let's again as you as you can see we see the little bit of stuttering so initial impressions looks like the little bit of lag and stuttering that was there on the s4 uh is not that much fixed with this update again uh, do let me know if you have already got this update what changes have you felt over there with this update now it's a little bit smooth as you can see compared to earlier let's try this gesture this was smooth. I'll be testing this update for the next couple of days and I'll share my uh, thoughts in the comment section below. So if you have also got this update, do share your experience in the comment section below. That's it for now. Thank you. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.